Hello, everyone, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, our new campaign here on Saving Throw Show. I'm very excited to be here. My name is Stephen Pope. I will be your headmaster, stream daddy, and GM for the evening. Let's go ahead and meet our players, starting with the incomparable Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and I'm so excited to be joining again for a fourth season of New Pantheon, and I can't wait for you guys to meet my character, who I believe will be introduced soon, unless I meant to introduce them myself. Um, oh, we'll introduce in a moment. Cool. I'm Aki. Let the audience you, do. Let them you, wait. You know me. You, you've seen me around, maybe a little bit. <laughs> We're also joined by the purple-haired menace himself, Eric. I, I take umbrage to the, the term menace. I don't feel like I'm I'm a menacing person. Uh, plotting, yes. Uh, you're vindictive, tall, so yes. you're menacing. Uh, but I'm, okay, I'll take it. I Devious. guess I'll take it. Hi, everyone. I'm Eric. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice we have two new players here at the table. I'm so excited to have them both. Let's start with one of my favorite people, Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Uh, I'm so honored to be brought back uh, for this show. I'm really, really excited for you guys to be my character and for my character to play and meet your guys' characters. Uh, I actually wanted to second that um, Eric is a menace, uh, terrorizes the town. There's not a day that goes by where you don't hear, you know, people just bemoaning, oh gosh, Eric, Eric has ruined my day yet again. He burninates the countryside. He does, does one so countryside. Much. One countryside. People will be thinking they're trying to drink their glasses of water and it's milk. Yeah. And Eric did the trick. Listen, just because I walk around in overalls with a slingshot in my back pocket, uh, messing with my elderly neighbor, doesn't mean I'm a menace. <laughs> Might as well rename him to you know what. Uh, we can't. It's copyrighted. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. And last but certainly not least, Mika. Hey everyone, I'm Mika. Um, I am the anti-Eric. I am not a menace to society. <laughs> not at all. I don't burn in eight villages. Um, and I am extremely happy to be here. Uh, I've guessed it on this channel before, but I'm very uh, excited once again, I keep using that word, <laughs> to be <laughs> as a regular on a show. So thank you for having me. Hey, it's a pleasure to have you, because this is our first anime-inspired role-playing game using Overarms. Available now at Drive Through RPG by uh, Rookie Jet Games. Go give it a look. There's a free demo. Highly recommend it. So, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Can we take oh, yeah. five minutes? Oh, actually, okay. yeah. I need to go get my hair cut. I'll be right. Oh, back. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go bleach my teeth real fast. You know? <laughs> is this where do we a... take a bathroom break? This yeah, is where we, this go is where we take a bathroom break. I'm gonna yeah. do a full, a full round of Crest White strips. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You gotta do the full system. You gotta do the full system. <laughs> actually, before we dive into it, I have a very quick announcement for our wonderful chat. Now, at Saving Throw Show, generally, when you subscribe, you get a reroll for the table. I'm changing things up a bit. Didn't talk to my producers about this. This is, you know, Dom is uh, right off camera with the big uh, whomping stick, but we'll deal with that later. Now, instead, when you subscribe, you will become a named student at North Point Academy. I can't guarantee when you'll be popping in, but you will be popping in the episode you subscribe. So enjoy that and enjoy the fact that we won't be doing a lot of re-rolling here. The only way to do that is through your tips, which we desperately appreciate because we have a lot of kobolds to feed so many kobolds they keep multiplying where do they keep coming from but okay. i don't i don't know i would have th imagined that at this point they would have evolved into like full-blown dragons i mean i don't you'd i feel like they've earned that. it you'd think that but you leave them unattended for a while and now we just have kobolds too many kobolds but your tips keep them well fed and clothed which is very important no one likes nudist kobolds that seems that seems like unnecessarily. Shaming. I don't know. I've been to some weird places on the internet. I feel like there are people who appreciate a, a kobold comfortable with their body. I'm very very public about my naked kobold love. So, yeah, 
And that's fine. That's fine. I'm I not just feel like kink shame. Not the gonna la- no. yum. The lady doth protest too much. I feel like <laughs> Stephen Pope's search history is like naked kobolds kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. This is an anime. Anything is, anything is possible. Hey, I sat through Goblin Slayer, okay? <laughs> I, I felt some horrible pain. <laughs> and on that note, <clears throat> North Point Academy, a beautiful, pristine campus built in the wilderness of Washington State, the United States of America. This school, this international campus brings together the highest minds to mold and shape the future in art, science, athleticism. And it is going to revolutionize the world one day. This prestigious school sits alone at the top of the academic pyramid. And we have a horrible storm brewing right now. Weather, inclement weather has shut down the campus as four students find themselves stranded in the Galana dorm. We start off with the resident assistant himself. Lenny, what are you doing on this uh, rather dreary, rainy, thunderclapping night? Uh, honestly, I'm like, uh, I got like a like just like the biggest dumb checklist that I got to go through of like, you know, making sure people's like, cause a lot of people don't know that you like got to like close your freaking windows and stuff. So I got to like go to everyone's room and be like, yo, are you freaking windows closed, bro? And then they got to like close them. And then I got to like check on all that stuff. And then I got to mark it down. And then I got to hand that, th- that paper off. It is a never ending job being the RA for a dorm. Uh, why did you take this job in the first place? Um, like my dad says that uh, I have a future in politics. So like I need to get as much uh, hands-on experience with uh, leadership uh, and uh, being a quarterback's not enough. Uh, so I got to like get in and like do other things. And I thought this would be like hecka, hecka easy, but like nobody told me like I would have to like do things, which is like, not cool? Not cool indeed. Manny, you are actually at a meeting right now for the school pep squad. You have, thankfully, you all live in the same dorm, which is such a rarity that the gods must have been smiling down upon you when it happened. And your meeting is currently droning on mostly because a member is missing. Oh, well, that's not good. No. But even if the meeting was droning on, I would be paying 100% attention to everything that's going on because it's very important that the manager be taking notes, mm. which is what I have been doing. And I have noted the absence of, of, of one of our members. Uh, but who, who is this absent member? The missing member is Nanako Majima, one of the students from Japan. Uh, you know, she is also on the cheer squad and she's not here today. Oh, well, that's not right. She's mm-hmm. always on time. Usually. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. To other members of the pep squad are also taking notes, including JD, uh, whose last name you think is 2607, but you've never been positive on that one, along with Maxine Young. Thank you both for I'm not entirely sure JD's not a robot. It's a big question, but never had the chance to ask them. No. Mm. Iris. <laughs> you, how do you feel about storms? Negative. Really Negative? bad. Mm-hmm. Yes. How are you handling this uh, thunderstorm that's rolled in unexpectedly to North Point Academy? Rock bottom. I'm not good. Rock I bottom, dismantled huh? my bed. I, I, I've, I've, I've used the different pieces of wood to just, you know, block off the windows because as you know, windows can break uh, during a storm because different, you know, gusts of wind can reach up to 125 miles an hour in this area. And so I've, I've just been, I, I've done the bed and now I'm looking around to see what else I can maybe break apart and, and use. Um, and I'm also, 
I'm a multitasker. I'm also just, you know, writing up maybe a, a little what to do in a storm guide that I'm going to just shove under my door crack and maybe people will find that helpful. I don't know. Uh, the pile out front is uh, getting pretty thick though. So it, it seems like people usually don't, don't really need, don't, don't really need my help. Oh. While you continue to panic and, you know, contemplate the many ways you can die in a storm. And there are so many ways, aren't there? Yes, I, actually, well, during a storm during the day, you can die 762 different ways, but in a storm during the night, um, you can die 924 ways. Wow, that's a lot of different ways to die. Yeah, and, and most of them involve vermin. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Before we get to that, Dahlia. Yes. Uh, so, while the drama club had to reschedule because of the storm, you were supposed to be in the, you know, old gymnasium tonight, but that didn't happen because, you know, power outages happen a lot, especially at the old building. Uh, you have, you're going to be doing a production of Oklahoma soon. Are, are you going for the, like, one of the big roles this year? Oh, absolutely. I go for the big roles every year. I don't ever get the big roles. Uh, I don't even get the second biggest roles, but I go for them every year. And I have, I have a good feeling about this one. I just, it's real American. It, it hits to the heart. Why don't you go ahead and give me a charisma role? Let's see how your uh, practice is going. Oh, goodness. Okay. So in Overarms, when you use a role, I will ask for the stat. You roll it, and we see what happens. Very simple, very basic role-playing stuff. Uh, what do you have in Charisma? Let's double check. I have a d12 in Charisma. Fantastic. Roll that d12. <laughs> I got a three. Mm. <laughs> you, you're not We're trying great. to hit lowest, right? We're like closer yeah. to, to, to zero, right? Yeah. It's one of those systems. <laughs> No, though this is a system with exploding dice, so that might mean something. <laughs> with a three, you, you're you still on book. And, you know, Oklahoma, it's kind of dated. The gender roles are a little problematic. There's not a whole lot of meat to any of the roles. And you're getting into it just... And then the power goes out. Boom. Throughout the entire dorm, you hear groans and annoyance and screams of, I didn't fucking save! <laughs> uh, throughout. Uh, Lenny, you are in the hallway and you step in something crunchy. It's an iris flyer, again. So used to these now. Uh, uh, he's just gonna knock on the door and he's like, what have I said about putting out distributing flyers. There's a specific messaging board that is a system. You are allowed uh, one message on the board per day. God. Well, when I put my messages on the board, that no one looks at them. Listen, there's limited space so that everyone has equal amounts of, of, of an opportunity to put their messages out. You Lenny? can't just- Lenny, Lenny, hmm. did, you, did you get my, um, my note? Which note? The 16th one from yesterday. Uh, probably. And your response is? Uh, if like, like say for example, like I don't remember the specific uh, oh! uh, text. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't read my note! Uh, I I didn't say that. I said, like, say, for example, like, uh, you had written that note and I hadn't read it. Uh, like, what would what would it have entailed? And what what was what would be a response that you would expect? That you would address my issues. The bathroom protocol here is absolutely unacceptable. Listen, I don't, I don't have any control over the bathrooms. Uh, they are, you know, uh, that 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 is territory that's outside of me if you have a problem with like uh specific 
issues. Uh, you can go with maintenance or janitorial. I can pass those concerns on. I would appreciate that. Please do that. Yeah. But like, what was that concern? Because I totally don't remember that message. But you read it. Yeah, yeah. It mm -hmm. got, um, yeah. You know, I- Just to jog your memory, it's just that mm -hmm. I would, I would prefer if there were five times as much soap in there than what is there. Um, like, I can, like if I can, we could get the soap to come out where the water comes out instead. I mean, I'll, I'll pass that along, but I honestly, I don't think that's a, that's a, a reasonable uh, thing. Uh, you know, I, I think the shower stalls are, you know, they're, they're pretty much set in stone, like literally the stone of the wall. Okay, well, if you can't do any, if you can't do anything, then you can't do anything. I guess. I guess but, you're just you, you're just useless, just like everybody else in my life. Russell, Russell. What? Is there a sound? Yes, Iris. In, the in dark my room. Of your room, you hear a rustle and a jingle jangle. Ooh, ooh! I don't know what to do. Lenny, how clean are you? Um, like. I don't know, I showered after practice. <sighs> but that was six hours ago. Okay, I'm trying to do a quick cost-benefit analysis. I think I'm gonna let Lenny in here. Manny, the club has disbanded. Everyone's going back to their rooms to make sure nothing gets, you know, you don't know, possibly looted. And you hear the high-pitched whine of your I guess friend, Iris. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. I hope she's okay. I hope. What What was the name of the student again? Hmm? That was missing from practice? Oh, Nanako Majima. Nanako, I hope Nanako is okay. Too many people who need help. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I should go and help Iris. I should go and check and see how Iris, but Nanako. Too many people need help. I'm hungry. Mm. Iris, the sound is getting louder and you swear you hear squeaking too. <laughs> like a rat king. No, this is the top eighth worst way to die in a storm. Okay, I need to open, I'm gonna open my door but there's like 12 locks. So it might be a little minute. Uh, Go ahead and roll me intelligence as you see beady eyes stare at you from the darkness, illuminated no! by the lightning outside. You see this horrible round creature, tendrils everywhere, long, horrible horns. Okay, okay. <laughs> no! What'd you get? <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia. Dahlia and Manny, both of you hear the shriek of a woman being torn limb from limb by horrible, horrible giant rat monsters, you think. You're not positive. Mm. Manny, I, I think that, yeah, Manny has like finally <laughs> just decided that, you know, they've got snacks in the room. They might as well head in the direction of, of Iris's screeching. And I think if if they see Dahlia on the way, they're like, um, um, uh, do you know who's who's dying? It sounds like Iris. Um, sorry, what'd you say? I, I'm trying to go over my lines. I'm hoping they'll let me re-audition. <laughs> oh, it sounds like somebody's dying. I think it's Iris. <gasps> oh, perfect. I can sit in this moment and try to keep this for my future auditions. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go save someone. Okay, sounds good. At this moment, Mini Marker, Vahista Terrace, and JD all glance out their doors, and Mini goes, "Is it Iris?" Sounds uh, like it. Okay, and they close their doors. Huh. Well, that's not helpful. Mm, but if it makes them happy, it's fine. And besides, Iris isn't actually dying, is she? I don't uh, think she ever really is. I, I, I've heard she screams like this a lot. I'm dying! <laughs> Hi, Lenny. Oh, what's up, Manny? 
Not much. Is Iris okay? Uh, you know, I don't know. How many locks has she managed to undo? Uh, I didn't hear any. Iris, you have to unlock your door if you want help. What's going on in there? I don't know. She Iris? Uh, okay, so I'm being, what is occurring to me? I rolled a, a one. What's happening to me right now? Um, you, so that's about as bad as you can get on the die. Yeah. You are petrified, terrified even. Okay. As you see this monster and it, your room's dark and you blotted out your window so you don't mm -hmm. even have that. And the only light you're getting is like when lightning strikes outside mm -hmm. and this thing keeps getting more and more warped and weird. Okay. Well, uh, I'm under a desk, <laughs> um, which I had originally, it's like half broken because I had started breaking that down. So I'm like under a, a, a desk that's like ma making a triangle on the ground. Um, just holding on, holding on for dear life and like scrunching my eyes closed. All right. Iris, do I have your permission to enter? <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll try the handle. It's still locked. All right, uh, and then I'm gonna turn, and is there like a random person walking in the hallway? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, you see uh, Zombie Wolf. He is currently wearing the black robes of the occult club. Zombie Wolf, note the date and the it's time. Woof. Zombie Wolf, sorry, I apologize. Note the date and time, I'm, I'm in an ordering act 17. And then I'm gonna try and kick in the door. <laughs> uh, Zombie Wolf uh, joins Monstrosity Jones and Ghost Tack as they all just kind of grimace at you before leaving as one. No, note the date and time. It is. It is um, uh, November fifteenth, and it is approximately four thirty. And you're enacting, was it 17? 17. 17. I have noted the date and time. Lenny. All right, great. You have to memorize a lot of those acts? I have to do yeah. that too for theater. That's yeah. crazy. It sucks so hard. What? I'm gonna kick no. in the door. <laughs> okay, give me a strength roll. Okay, Let's see how this turns out. Hopefully better than everyone else's. An eight. Okay, uh, and that is a... What is your strength die, by the way? A d12. Okay, so we were looking for a six. Eight is good. Uh, you kick open the door and you hear the locks crack and break and iris. That's going to cost you so oh. much. You're going to have to get a new ring, probably. Oh. I assume you have one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I have the ring and then I also have Simply Safe. Oh. I don't know the difference, but sure. And you are greeted. At this school, we have a, a an open door policy. You get it? Because it's like, because I, you know. That's funny, Lenny. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a joke. Ha 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 ha. You ruined the timing again, Manny. There's timing. Timing is everything. Iris, <laughs> what's the problem? And I just want to point at the thing. Uh, Iris points and there's nothing there. Uh, the duvet and, cover? Yeah, it, you do see the duvet cover. And I'd like everyone to give me an intelligence roll. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too, me too. As well. Oh, not bad, considering mm. I have a D4 in intelligence. Um, I rolled a three. Oh. I rolled an eight out of eight. Oh, I, if you roll the top die, give it another roll. Nice. I rolled a seven out of eight. Okay, I got a nine. All right. I rolled an eight. Okay. Well, it didn't matter. So, Dahlia, you're the first one to notice this. Uh, Iris, you don't have many uh, decorations in your room, I assume. No! Decorations are distracting from incoming peril! Well, on top of what's left of the desk, you see a very odd statue. It looks like a rabbit, but a very fluffy one. 
and it's kind of doing that thing when it's when you are if you don't move maybe they won't see you is she okay <gasps> there's nothing in here I don't see anything either, but I, I, I can believe that you thought you saw something, Iris. Like, I completely understand if, like, you thought you saw something, and it was really scary. Like, I If mean, you find that you're having a mental breakdown, I do have a form that you can fill out. You know what? You okay. guys sound like the, like the, um, like the cops in, like, an Unsolved Mysteries. I saw it! No, I, believe I, believe, you. I believe you saw it. I could feel the emotion. I believe the stress of the situation has gotten to you to make you believe that. Lenny, you are not my friend anymore. Lenny has friends? That seems harsh. <laughs> <laughs> I know rabbit statue. Rabbit Wait, statue. So did we all hear yeah. that that's coming from the rabbit statue? The rabbit statue Am is I aware standing the... on top. Yes. Okay. You don't, you're not aware, you don't own this thing, but you heard it. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Well, that's, is that a, huh? Is that like motion activated thing? I have not seen this thing before, right? Nope. Okay. No, I don't know what that thing is. It's like a Halloween decoration. Here, I'm gonna walk by it again and try to activate it again. I like to just like walk. Um, when you put your hand close to it, it kind of leans back a little. Uh, why are you all giant? Oh, you have a new pet, Iris. I don't believe in them. Also, you can't have a pet on this floor. I'm not a pet! Sorry to snitch. Whoops. Um, wait. It's sentient. Why is it talking? Why? What? Excuse are you, me. Are you a student here? Lenny, what? Well, I'm just saying if it's not a student, then it needs a visitor badge because you Ex can't be on this floor unless you have a visitor badge. Excuse me, mortals. Who are you talking to? Whoa. We're talking to you? you? <sighs> okay, I don't know what humans got really big and really disrespectful, but you need to know your place. Come on. This is very you're, rude. You're this this big to us. I am, I am not that, I'm not, no, no. You, you are this size. This His ears uh, this kind size. of flop around as he hops on down. He is, it is a rabbit. It is an egg shaped rabbit. Pure black with glowing yellow eyes and big fluffy ears. And this thing is every Sanrio character roll into one goth package. And he looks up at you, very indignant. I'm Orpheus! I'm the god of sleep! How dare you call me tiny? Oh. Mario Big! Oh my gosh, wait, I've heard that name before. That's in the, there's a Broadway show called Hades Town. Orpheus, wow. Hmm. Hades Town? Oh, I don't talk to him anymore. He doesn't have a town, he has a house. Oh, mm. all right. Huh. We're not giant. This is our normal height and size. No, no, no. I, no. I'm pretty much above average for, for, for most men my age. You're not a man. I'm, I'm. You're a teenager. You're in that nascent stage before, post pubescent, pre full on. Lenny, mm. don't let him get you down. I think you look like a man. Thank you. I'm a man. Oh my god. I'm a man god. You're a bunny. You're I'm a bunny. not a bunny. You're Why a do rabbit. I look like this? Oh. There, what did I think she it's do? a gas leak. I think it's a gas leak and we're experiencing a shared hallucination. Well, I could think of worse people to share hallucination with. Huh. Normally yeah, I, I have to take something to to see stuff like this. Yeah, you're an, no. You're an RA. <gasps> Lenny, do you do drugs? Lenny, you do you do do you do beer? But I I enjoy libations. <gasps> On campus? I thought that was against the rules. You said I, you I do not do them in any place I am not allowed to wink wink. He doesn't wink when he says that. Um <laughs> you just said 
You you just said wink wink out loud. Lenny. You one hundred percent did that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a I'm a, I'm I'm on on the straight path. Wink wink. He did it again. Lenny. Lenny's a bit weird. You gotta wink upstage, bud. Otherwise, they're gonna see it. Lenny, what about all those videos that I've been sending you um, from like driver's ed classes? Oh, you shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't drink and drive. I don't check my inbox a lot. We have very responsible RA. Anyways, it is nice to meet you, Orpheus. You are a rabbit. I am not a rabbit, but it is nice to meet you too. What's your name? I'm Emancipation Brown, but most people call me Manny. Well, Manny, it's nice to meet you. Um, real quick, one, not a bunny. Two, uh, how- You're a bunny. No, okay. Do you need I a just mirror? Look like a mirror would be nice. Do you have a mirror, Iris? We can try to, I don't, I don't, I don't like them, but we can try to get some glass and tilt it for the light like source. We could there is like a use our phone. In your half bath. Oh, could, could I just use right. my phone and like flip the camera around? I mean, that, I don't see could, why not. We could also take the shroud off of the mirror in my bathroom. <laughs> so sad. All right. So, what do you do? Yeah, I guess we'll just show show Orpheus what he looks like. <laughs> I don't care what method we do that by. We just All right. Show Manny, uh, the moment you sh hold him up to the unshrouded mirror, he faints. Oh. Ah, his eyes begin to spin as he just goes limp in your arms. Oh, I'm a rabbit. So yeah. I killed the bunny. She oh, turned so me into a rabbit. Was it, was it a robot the whole time and now it's like powered off? I'm oh. not a robot. I'm a bunny apparently. I used to be a god. What did she do to me? What did who do to you? Uh, well, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. No, probably not. Well, you're We're a bunny head rabbit, so please stop hearing? call. Please stop using the R word or okay, the B sorry. word. Ugh. Well, what you would are... you prefer we refer to you as? God, man. Uh, just call me Orpheus. You can call me right. Orf for short, I guess. Can't really do much. It feels Kike. like. I tried to put this one to sleep. He points to Iris. Oh, Iris doesn't sleep. I don't sleep. Oh, maybe that was the problem. But okay, good to know. Wait, why were you trying to put Iris to sleep? She was screaming. Because you, you were in her room. I was trying to hide. I just ran away from her. <gasps> the who? Phantom Queen. The who now? The Phantom Queen. She's, uh... I want everyone to give me an intelligence roll real fast. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> We're just looking for a three. Oh, no. Four. Five. Seven. One. Aki. Uh, you, <laughs> Aki. Okay, Manny, you know exactly what he's talking about. There was a Nickelodeon show back in the 90s about a supervillainess who was trying to take over the world, but she failed every week, and that, that's totally what he's on about. I saw that cartoon. That's not real. That's make-believe. I... What? The rest of you, you know there's an urban legend throughout North Point Academy, especially in the art clubs of the Phantom Queen. She walks the campus at night, especially on nights it rains. And if you see her, she will curse you to never complete a project on time. Oh, I think Lenny must have seen her. No, I just tell people that. It's one of those harmless ones because someone saw a Halloween costume out of season or something like that. But for the 20 years North Point Academy's been around, there's been a Phantom Queen story. The Phantom Queen? Like from, from all the stories? Stories that could come from fact? Uh, 
I don't know anything about your stories, but yeah, no. She kidnapped me and literally every other god. What? Yeah. I thought that she just had a thing against deadlines. No, she's a thing of death, but uh, I don't know anything about deadlines. The ultimate deadline. Can't argue with that. Yeah, no, I managed to escape her and I got five keys and he holds up four. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four. I dropped one. Fi- oh. This is not a good day for me. Hopefully uh, it wasn't anything important like your room or your car or a safety deposit box. No, no. Uh, uh, Manny, do you mind putting me down? There you go. Do you just pill the bunny? <laughs> no, I put him down safely. Ah, oh, thank you. Very much appreciated. Well, uh, these were my friends. Your friends are keys. My friends were gods. Your friends are keys. Now they're keys. Yes. Oh. How well, did your friends become keys? She did this. She's uh, kidnapped literally every god I can name and some I've never met, and turned them into keys. What do they unlock? I assume themselves, but uh, I haven't really been able to figure it out. I just grabbed them and ran. Well, I'm really sorry, but we can't help you because if gods are being turned into keys, we're just kids. We're going to be way worse. Also, as I stated, you don't have a pass to be on this floor. And I also don't want to turn in assignments late if I ever see this phantom queen. Wait a second. No, it's cool. You just tell them like your dad bought like a wing and then they just like, they let it slide. I don't talk to my dad for a reason. Uh, He picks up one of the keys. It's gold and rather long. The the head of the key looks like a bird and it's in, it has small feathers carved into it. Uh, 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 Mixter, Manny? Mm, yes. Yeah. Can can I help you? Yeah. Uh um could you hold this? Is it gonna do anything weird? Um it might get my friend back. Okay. <laughs> and as Manny takes it, uh they are engulfed in a stream of golden light. Uh, suddenly behind them is, for lack of a better term, a god. Manny, what does Ma'at look like? Um, I think that, uh, they are, uh, almost humanoid in that they have arms and legs, but, uh, the arms are kind of covered in, these sort of feathers um, that never turn into hands. Um, they're they're almost like a bird person, essentially. Like their feet end in talons, and their shoulders, and they're they're like almost like a, a peregrine falcon or a hawk, like some sort of a bird of prey. And um, in one of their uh, arms is wrapped around what look like scales um, that uh, they hold. Uh, to one side, um, but that's what Ma'at looks like. Uh, they have like a very uh, defined uh, eye, uh, uh, so the feathers around their eyes are very defined, almost as if they're wearing like a really great winged eyeliner, um, but yes. And, uh, and uh, I wanna say their beak is like a solid gold color. Um, it's pretty cool. You are face to face with the god of truth and he looks down at you and even though Ma'at is a she she thank you and she looks down at you and extends a hand you're a very big bird lady and you are a very powerful human okay sure i'm emancipation brown most people call me manny I am Ma'at. It's nice to meet you, Ma'at. Uh, Orpheus said you're a friend of his. Indeed I am. 
Thank you for freeing me from my prison. No problem. Um, anytime. With that, they take your hand and you feel a power grow within you that you've never felt before. You feel a level of intensity and strength that you didn't think was possible and they vanish. And in the back of your mind, you hear them go, I will be your sword and I will be your shield. I am your divinity. The big bird lady disappeared, but I think I can hear her in my head. Orpheus, what's going on? Okay, all right. Uh, that was unexpected, but not bad. Uh, there is a there is a voice in my head, and usually the only voices in my head are my own. Um, this is a little bit different. Uh, with with that, Maat appears behind you. No. Oh! I'm sorry. My strength has not returned and I must use you as a vessel. Okay. Thank you. No problem. And they vanish again. Hmm. Okay. That explains that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, he picks up the three remaining keys and hides them back into his fur. So, uh... I'm just gonna head, hang out with Manny real quick. The three of you can go away. Shoot, be gone. Thank you. Thank you for your time. This is this is Iris's room. Oh, okay. Well, uh, do you want to come with me real quick, Manny, and uh, help me save every everyone and possibly reality itself? I would really appreciate it. By myself? Yeah. I mean, uh, Manny's Manny's not uh, as an underclassman. Manny can't go on any uh, off-campus field trips without uh, a representative. Uh, it's on like campus. A, a parent or guard. Oh. Okay, well, we are locked down currently. Uh, we have an emergency because of the storm. You have three more keys. Um. And you're asking me to go and do this by myself? I'm, I mean, I'm pretty cool and I'm very strong and people like me because I'm cool. Um. But, um, I mean, look, I can feel the strength from all three of them, but uh, you're the only one, like, uh, let, let me make this perfectly clear. And he looks at you, Iris. I can tell you do not want this. Give me the keys. And he pulls them out of his fur and hands them to you. Like what do they look like? One looks like a... Uh, it's gold like yours, but instead of being that vibrant royal gold, it's more like grain. Uh, at the end of it looks like a barrel, and you could see small uh, hops carved into it. Another one is pitch black with a skull on it. Uh, Memento Mori is written on the side in silver. And the last one uh, is green, and the head is a black rose. And I kind of like stand in front of each one of them of the of, of my of the three and I kind of look at the keys and then I look at them and then I look at the keys. I think this one this one looks like this one looked like it's for you. And I hand like the the barrel one to Lenny. Oh tight. <laughs> All right, Lenny. Uh the same a similar golden light appears around you. Instead of a large uh, bird creature, what do you see? Uh, Ninkasa, the Sumerian goddess of beer, uh, is not in humanoid form in the slightest. Uh, she is a seven foot tall clay jar, like uh, like a, a jug uh, that is uh, wrapped in these th these bands of 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 metal that hold it in place that it, it that have gold trimming all around it and in there like there are all these sumerian runes that are written almost like in 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 purple and they sort of hover off of the bands and in the center are like these jeweled eyes and then coming from the top are these like these reeds of like uh, that that stick out of the top of where the the jar is this inhumanoid figure 
laughs. Uh, it's a joyous roar when you accept the key. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to be a blast. We're oh, going to have a good time. Sick. I will be your sword. I will be your shield. I am your divinity. Tight. Hmm. And then uh, uh, Manny then goes up to Dahlia and kind of looks at the two keys and then looks at Dahlia. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Wow, thank you. I'm gonna grab the rosed key. Okay. Once again, you feel yourself taken into that other state of being. Uh, what does your God look like? Um, Persephone is uh, incredibly beautiful. She has hair that seems that it, it doesn't end. It's very curly, very luscious, and there are flowers interwoven within it. Um, and as you follow the hair down her form, you see that she's just covered in like flora and twigs and flowers and just uh, all the like harvest flowers that would be in bloom at this moment. And she stands with this confidence in her. She she looks like a queen. I sense greatness within you. That's the first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> wow. Encore. Do you mind if I record this and show it to my theater teacher? I think it helped me get the next part. Absolutely. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. I will be your sword. I will be your shield. I am your divinity. Oh, okay. I'm going to write that down to remember. And as you're writing it down, uh, she's gone. Oh, snap. Was I supposed to write stuff down? And <laughs> Iris, there's one key left. And Manny, there's one Iris left. Mm -hmm. Iris? Oh, I'm busy. Sorry. You're not. And I know that you're scared. I don't see you outside very often, but no. anytime we're walking to classes together, you always have these really, really cool facts to share. Mm -hmm. You're really smart, and you're always prepared. And if there's anybody that's going to help keep us safe from dying, I think it's you. Because there's nobody who's more afraid of it than you are, which means you have more reason than anyone to make sure it doesn't happen. I don't think I'd rather have anybody else protecting us than you. And I think this one belongs to you. Besides, think of it this way. If you're going to be outside of your room, you might as well have a really cool god with you while you do it. Okay, but I can't look. Put the key in her hand. Ow! Iris, when the key is forced upon you, you are taken to that golden place and you see <gasps> what? Um, so if you look directly at her, it's like a swirling vortex of a black hole. But then if you look out of the corner of your eye, um, she's like eight feet tall and her skin shimmers with the depth of space and she's humanoid in that she has arms to kind of <laughs> copy what other people were saying it, in that and she has four arms and um one is holding a sickle one is holding a trident one's holding a severed head and the other arm is holding a skull cup that's collecting the blood from the severed head but that's only if you look out of the corner of your eye. If you look straight on, then it kind of morphs into like a swirly vortex with tendrils holding those things. You, you fear me, don't you? Yes. What if we use that fear? Like how? To like, make it so you were what people feared. Okay. I, I mean, I think people fear me and that they just don't like being around me. That's a good place to start. Okay. I am Kali. 
I am your sword and I am your shield and I will be your divinity. You have beautiful eyes. Thank you. And with that, Iris, you feel something you probably haven't felt in your whole life. You feel really strong. Ooh. <coughs> I feel different. Okay, great, great. Uh, so thank you all. This is very much appreciated. Um, was uh, not expecting this, but then again, I'm a bunny, so I should stop trying to remember things. So if you'll just come with me real quick, maybe we can uh, kill her and or stop her. I don't really know the. I don't really know what she's planning. All I know is what she did. Uh, but were you really going to try and make me fight her all by myself? No, I was just hoping you could, you know, scare her a little, and I could grab the rest of the keys and figure things out on my own, and I would say toodaloo. But uh, I'm sorry. Mm. I'm not very good at this whole gathering humans thing. I tend to visit you guys and keep a six foot distance. We should all be keeping a six foot distance from each other in general. I'm very big on boundaries. Um, so yeah. Um, so you have the souls of gods now. Yay. Yay! And I think that Manny does a quick little like pep squad cheer mm -hmm. uh, for the like one of the school standard pep squad cheers uh, to kind of get everybody hyped up before before they run. And they attempt to do the dance, and it looks okay, but it's <laughs> not. They are obviously not adept, but they have a lot of enthusiasm. Give me a dexterity roll. Let's see how well you do it. Oh, what's my dex? Uh, it's not bad. Uh, in the hallway, I, you hear Emperor Riptide in Warrior <laughs> Books joining in in your two. Yay! I rolled a I'd two. like to try to match <laughs> Manny's steps and follow along with them. Give me a dex roll. Oh, I rolled a two, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I rolled a four. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're both doing it wrong, but you're doing it better, Dahlia. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's close, but everyone knows it's on a five, six count, but whatever. Like, not like I care. <laughs> oh, you care immensely. I like that. You, you spend a lot of time watching the people in the pep squad. I don't think I haven't noticed. Uh, yeah, because, because I'm always on, on, you know, I'm, I'm always playing in the field. So like, I got to see all you well nerds having fun and stuff. Well, also, I always notice that after Manny's pep squad practice, um, there's always like really loud wailing and crying sounds coming from your room. Shut running. up, Virus. Okay. That's a video I watch. About, oh, you watched a video about that says- About people crying because they're weak. But it's so weird because like during the crying, it says like, I'm Lenny, I'm so sad. Yeah, it's it's a video, it's a YouTube channel about someone else. Yeah. Hey, who's, nothing's who's, like, wrong with a man in touch with his own emotions. No, I, I, I'm totally. That's why I said about my husband. Mm. Oh, wow, Lenny. If, if you ever want to have a cry session, let me know. It's really good to get in touch with your emotions and and know how to call them up at any moment. No, the, you know? I, my dad was pretty, pretty adamant that uh, the Thatchers don't have emotions. Mm. That it's oh. a sign of weakness and can be exploited by our enemies, who are numerous. No, you should always pay attention to your emotions because actually um, they can help you survive. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And Lenny, your phone begins to vibrate. Oh, are we, are we walking and talking during this just by the- I don't know if you guys are or not. <laughs> you didn't say, so I'm assuming you're still, <laughs> yeah, I, I, still I guess in Iris' we... room. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm gonna answer my phone. <laughs> Uh, it's a number you don't recognize, but when you answer it, you do kind Hello? of recognize the voice. Lennox uh, Thatcher speaking. Uh, Le Lennox? Le Sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to get a hold of uh, Lenny, LT. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Oh, uh, uh, hi, hi. Uh, th this is this is uh, Nanako Majima. I, I'm, uh, I, I, I need help, please. Oh, right. Uh, you know... Totally. Uh, there is a, a number I can refer to you for if you need any help with uh, security. Who is it? It's Nanako. Nanako? 
Nanako yeah. was missing from Pep Squad today. Put me on oh. the phone with her. Nanako, you know that there's a there's a, a, a campus wide phone. lockdown. Put it on you're speaker. To... Put it on speaker. I I take I the phone and I put it on speaker. Nanako, are you okay? You're uh, on speaker. I I'm not okay. We're I'm. You I'm weren't in the at old Pep gym. Squad. Okay, you weren't at Pep Squad practice. You're supposed to be in the dorm. We asked. Are you... Was your first idea to call Lenny? No. Why? I've been trying Lenny? to get a hold of someone for for like an hour. Oh. This is kind of a desperate call. Shit, I gotta be quiet. They're coming. Who's coming? These ghosts. I don't know what to call them. You said you were in the old gym? Yes. Okay, Nanako, we'll come get you. Be oh shit, I gotta run. Uh you hear the phone clatter and you hear running. Um, and then you hear what sounds like giggling. Eee. Is Orpheus still with us? Yep. His eyes are wide. His ears are straight up. She had to have been very desperate to call you, Lenny. Yeah. We should get to the old, green, uh, old gym right now. Listen, Ooh. uh, I can't, I can't hear if you're making plans right now. Excuse me. I'm going to walk to my door. There's like a big white board and he's going to write that he's signing out as, as RA. He's like, all right, now, yeah, let's sneak out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, well, yeah. I, I feel like we were put, look, I like Nanako just fine. Um, but I, I thought we were just going to help the, the Orpheus. I, I don't know how, if we really want to put ourselves in that kind of danger. One of our fellow students is in danger and needs help. Yeah, and like he wants us to fight the Phantom Queen, and like Nanako's just got some ghost problems. So like that seems like a lot easier. But did you hear they're laughing? Ew. Well, they're having fun. Maybe. Oh no. Maybe Dahlia. they're playing hide and seek. Oh yeah. Who knows? We're well, just gonna have to go figure it out. So my options are either go with you guys or be stuck alone here. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. As the four of you led by Orpheus head outside, you are greeted with the occult club. <laughs> led by student champ student champion <clears throat> Alphagor Stratovich de Palma, the fourth of the frozen rose also known as Alfred Peterson. The 15-year-old is the president of the cult club. And members include Griffin of Falcon Hollow, Quee Squared, Zombie Wolf, Montrosi Jones, Ghost Hack 159, uh, and Reverse Aquamath. And huh. they are currently trying to figure out how to make this pentagram work in a storm. They're currently on tape. Like they're taping it? You're trying to use tape to make it, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Like, like I see. And are they like, are we outside or inside? Uh, they are outside in the pouring rain. Listen, if I were currently uh, on duty as an RA, I would tell you that there is a, a school wide lockdown that you should be in your dorms. This, uh, Alf looks at you and pulls down his head. This is a club activity, okay? This is the perfect Listen, night to try to open up the Listen, all club activities are suspended in the storm, but I'm not an RA, so I'm not going to write you up. Ugh. He's Lenny right now. He's not Lennox, so you're fine. Sorry. Who calls him Lennox? He calls himself Lennox. And I call him Sir. <laughs> Do you want us to call you Lennox? No. Nah. Wait, what was that? Yes or no? What? No. What? It's it's fine. Okay. Well, you should call me LT. I, that, that that doesn't ring. That doesn't okay. come off. The... Um, uh, yeah, about, it's yeah. stupid. It's stupid. I should. Yeah, it, it was it was it was a dumb idea. I shouldn't have. Hey, LT. <laughs> How about <laughs> when you're our friend? We'll call you LT, but when you're in like your scary RA mode where you keep saying like Act 17, we'll call you Linux. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. That works. I'm going to call conference. you Lieutenant. <gasps> oh. Okay, but then I feel like that that, that is that is me, uh, you know, 
claiming that I am a part of a, a military service, which I am not. Uh, I respect them too much to to steal their glory. Are you part sure, of Sure, okay. I mean, I am in ROTC. Or, you know, but... Anyways, let's go. <laughs> With that, the four of you make it to the... Uh, let me get my notes. You make it to the old practice gym. The building was made a little bit before North Point Academy was open. While the rest of the campus tries to be futuristic and glass and beautiful, this building is purely practical. It is brick, it is concrete, it is glass, it is metal, it is ugly. And the front doors are wide open. Did any of you all ever hear the rumor that this place is haunted? Many times, yes. And now there are actual ghosts in there. They're not ghosts. What are they? They're called crows. Like the oh. bird? What? Kinda. The Phantom Queen sends them. I'll explain it when we see them. Come on. And with that, Orpheus leads you inside the dark building. Um, inside, inside the old practice gym, which is still in use, it's mostly used by the basketball team and volleyball team. Uh, the polished wood floor is damp from the open door. Uh, puddle, there's a large puddle leading from it. And in a back corner with some gym equipment, you hear cowling. Something Iris knows a lot about. Mm -hmm. Can we tell if it's just one person cowering or many? It sounds like one. Okay. Uh, hey, your rescuers are here. Hello? Uh, with that, Nanako sticks her head out. Oh my God, thank God, thank God, thank God. She runs over and she clings to the first person she sees, Iris. <laughs> okay, so she's clinging on me? Yep. <laughs> Nanako, are- It was, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The cheer captain, it was a dare, it was a dare. I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna be here anymore. Well, we can make sure you get home. It's okay. Also, hazing and, is not not cool. It's actually against the school charter. And behind you, the door doors slam shut. Oh no! I'm gonna cling to I'm gonna cling to Nanako. <laughs> and suddenly, red light fills the gym, and you see a woman, about six feet tall, bone white, dripping with red. She wears a crown that looks like it's made out of diamonds at first, but the closer you get, you realize it's bone. Uh, excuse me, Matt. This is uh, a private property. This is for my school. realm. What are that. you doing here? Uh, a lot of people would say the gym is kind of my realm. You say that. Yeah. And I'm Lenny, a lot of a person. Lenny is a lot of a person. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Eleni, I think that's the thing. That's the woman. Of oh, the yeah. Queen. I'm not hey, a give woman, it, I'm a queen. That's the one we have to kill. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, give us, give us the keys. The keys are in my home. You um, will not enter there. It's, it's really rude of you to steal, steal other people's parts. You should give them their roles back. Yeah, I'm She's, all for like a like a little light pranking, but like you seriously took it too far, turning people into like keys and stuff. She says nothing as she holds out a hand, and suddenly your shadows grow long, and then take on a 3D effect, and soon you are greeted with two cheerleaders that are made of this 
negative pulsating energy. And I need you all to roll initiative. How do we roll initiative in this game? Well, I'm glad you asked, Aki. Initiative in this game is done. Da, 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 da. It is done by ro rolling your uh, da, da. Da, da, da. character widget junction. I opened the wrong tab. I apologize. <laughs> I am professional at my job. I swear. Roll your dex and speed. So, in Overarms, your character has their own stats, as do your divinity or anima, if you go by the game's terminology. Whenever you work in tandem, you roll both stats and combine the number. I got a seven. Same. <gasps> uh, we got a six. And we got an eight from Iris. Okay. So, Iris, you're first up. What do you want to do? Mm, well, I'm very scared. And I don't trust these shadow cheerleader things. Um, so, if I want my... Uh, if, if I want to attack them, are my options basically like... Can, can my... Anima do things other than her abilities? Your divinity can fight I'm sorry, my for anima, you. I, yeah, my divinity? Your divinity can fight for you. Okay. Yes. Uh, so it will cost you one divinity point or mm -hmm. AP. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and roll me intelligence and range. Okay. Um, my intelligence is a D12. And my range is also D12. Okay. So 11 for the intelligence. All right. And then two uh, is my range. Do I have to minus two though? Because I'm seeing here my- And you minus two, correct. Okay, so then it would be just uh, 11. Okay. With an 11, that is more than enough to hit. Uh, go ahead and roll me damage, which is intelligence and range plus two. So uh, 16. Ooh, nice. Very nice. So you, Iris, you're terrified. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you want more than anything right now? To be safe. And that is what Kali does. You see Kali reach out from behind you with an entire world on her hand and she throws it at one of these things and it hits it in the side of the head shattering it mm -hmm. uh pieces of black crystal go flying everywhere and it lets out a giggle that chills you to the bone but you heard it a lot okay i'm just like sorry with that uh, they come dancing up to you, each one continuing to giggle. Uh, it's actually going to try to hit you, Lenny. Fair enough. Uh, I got a six. I doubt that's going to hit. Uh, what is your defense? Uh, defense is a D6. Okay. Go ahead and roll me defense. Oh, let's see how well I do with this. Uh, I got a six, which explodes. Ooh. And I got another six. What? Uh, so that would be 13. Okay, yeah. It tries to hit you, and you... What sport do you play, Lenny? Football. Okay. And lacrosse uh, in, in, uh, in the summers, uh, basketball. A little bit of golf, which he doesn't enjoy, but it's a good political game. I don't know how to take that last one, but good. Uh, you managed to dodge out of its attack. Um, the other one is going to try to take a swipe as well. And that's definitely, and it actually crit fails, which only happens when you roll two ones. So wow. mazel tov to me, I rolled the first crit fail. <laughs> and this would be a good time to note that the chat has unlocked rerolls for you all. 
Nice. This is the only way you get rerolls in this game. So thank you. Tov. Thank you, chat. How many rerolls? Uh, there are five. Yee. Cool. Thanks, yeah. guys. So next up, uh, Manny got a six, right? I'm last, yeah. Okay. Dahlia, you got a seven, correct? And so did Lenny. Right. Uh, which one of you, what, mm, not sure what to do in case of ties. Who has the higher dexterity? What's your dexterity, Lenny? D6. D10. Dolly's next. Um, are any of them advancing on us? Yes, both of them uh, advanced on Lenny, but he managed to dodge both of them easy. Okay. Uh, cool. I'd like to... How, do, how does it work with me attacking with my divinity? Uh, it costs you one AP. Got it. Okay. And then and I just roll my in, my range minus two. Yes. Okay, cool. That is a ooh, uh, seven. A uh, five? Uh, seven and a five or just five oh, in sorry, total? A five. Um, it was seven minus two. Mm. That is sadly too low and what what were you trying to do, Dahlia? Uh, protect everyone. I wanted to like, basically get the group away from them, or or put something between us and that the the two that were attacking us. All right. Uh, you watch as a bed of flowers grows all over the place. The entire floor of the gymnasium is gone and replaced with well, a rather pretty bouquet, all things considered. Cool. You hear, you hear Persephone in the back of your head. I need to be closer. It'll be easier if I'm closer. You want me to get closer to her? I'll protect you, I promise. Okay. Yeah, this is a trust exercise. We do these in, in theater practice all the time. Okay, I'm trusting in you. All right. Uh, next up, Manny. It's Lenny. Le oh, Lenny, you're right. I apologize. It's, I can't imagine how you confuse that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Lenny doesn't feel like he's in super danger. So he's just gonna, the one that um, that uh, that Iris hit, that like swung at him, he's just gonna like headbutt it. <laughs> okay. Um, that is not going to include your divinity. So you do not have to spend the AP. Just go ahead and roll me strength. Mm -hmm. See how well I do. Four. Well, actually, roll me dexterity to hit, and then we'll oh, roll strength. Okay, dexterity to hit. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, crit fail. Ooh. Also, Those apparently, so in, in overarms, the person with the highest HP goes first in a tie. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Notes. So I try, but they don't have much of a head left. So, and they're also shadow. And they're very pointy. You are. And you take three damage. Ah, oh, that's like not cool. <laughs> yes, uh, as your nose begins to bleed, uh, you go back to the top of the order. Iris. I haven't gone oh, yet. Sorry, I'm... Manny. Manny. There's too many Eddies. <laughs> it's Iris, Dahlia, Lenny, and Manny. It's the order right. of initiative. All right, uh, so Manny is going to uh, take a quick look at the situation. Um, I think uh, they're going to sort of, it, it takes them a second to realize that they're under attack and to kind of like put the dot, like connect the dots on who the woman is um, and then see that they're kind of in a situation where they're trapped and they can't get out. Um, and then Lenny gets attacked, and then Iris uses her divinity to do something very, very cool. Uh, and then there are pretty flowers everywhere. This is this is really nice. Um, I think that uh, Emancipation kind of uh, looks past the cheerleaders towards the the Phantom Queen, and um, they're they kind of peer at her and. What's your deal? 
anyway. Uh, and I would like to use my divinity's ability. I love that. All right. Um, so this will cost you a AP. Okay. And go ahead and roll me. Hmm, what should I have you roll? You are trying to get to something. Go ahead and use your charisma. And <laughs> defense. Charisma and defense? Yeah. Wait, what am I rolling here? Just a second, sorry. Charisma. Uh, that was an eight total. Eight total. All right. Um, sadly, this was definitely a uh, higher difficulty than a normal roll. But she gives you a grin that makes your blood run cold. You are actually going to take a condition. Yes. Uh, you are... You're dazed. I just want it noted that Stephen was like, this is the first game. This is the tutorial level. <laughs> dazed. Cool. Dazed. Yes. Where can dazed. I track that? Uh, basically, just uh, you should have a little check mark somewhere next to your intelligence. Your intelligence is reduced by one die size. Ha! Oh. My intelligence is a D4. Then it is not <laughs> lowered. Okay. <laughs> Manny, there's a thing where sometimes a protagonist in a show is so pure and so kind of dense that they don't seem to realize they're in danger. And we're going to say that happens. You're still dazed, but you're fine. I mean, we can't lower your intelligence anymore. It's that simple. I think something just happened to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will give you this, though. As her blood runs cold, you notice there is a set of doors to the side of the gymnasium. It goes down to a boiler room. You know this because they're very clear. Whenever you have Jim out here, do not go down there. Should I tell people what my, my uh, deity's ability is? Since I didn't Please really do. describe that. So... Um, I guess the way this manifests is that um, Ma'at like kind of kind of forms out of Manny from their shoulders. It's almost as though the 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 bird's head and then the shoulders kind of lift from uh from uh, Manny's body into the air, and then they kind of sweep their wings over everything. Like this large, huge form just kind of sweeps their arms over everything. And uh, their ability is to uncover and reveal truth. Anything and anyone within immediate range is compelled to reveal its secrets or true intent um, is their ability. So, yeah. Nice. Okay. So that leads us back to the top. And I, let's if see. If I, I roll high enough, right. obviously. <laughs> if you're all high enough, that's the problem. Uh, Iris, you are kicking us off. Okay. Well, okay. Is it possible that I have some of my flyers on me still? I'd say yes. Okay. I want to like throw my flyers at the, at the cheerleader things. And it's my hope. I don't know if this is the case, but it's my hope that they like see them and like lose morale. Like basically the flyer says like, you might think you're immortal, but these are all the ways you can die. And then it's like just a list. Okay. Give me an intelligence roll. That's, that's my hope. That's my hope. <laughs> it's a pamphlet about the, the very real dangers of cheerleading and how there's, yeah. there's not enough safety measures put in place. Yeah. It's basically, yeah. It's like that, but it's like an interactive quiz where like you put in what you do. And so it's like cheerleader and then it like goes different. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 
My intelligence, 12. Okay. Seven. Okay. Yep, that's going to hit. Um, <laughs> as you do that, it doesn't seem to make them despondent. They don't have eyes nor an ability to read, and one of them's missing half their head, so they're not exactly concerned about being alive, apparently. <laughs> However, they are going to be taking a hit to their, uh, we'll make it their dexterity. So their dexterity is lowered a die type. So Great. like those, I, I don't remember what they're called, but like in, in, in Japanese cultures, you put those scrolls on like ghosts to make them go away. Oh yeah, yeah. Inadvertently it's a bit like it's that. that. Inadvertently it's that, yeah. All right. So <laughs> it's going to be rolling a die less as it's going to try to hit you again, Lenny. Man, they love you, Lenny. He's or biggest. hate you. They always do. <laughs> okay. I'm very that, magnanimous. <laughs> that is a nine. Uh, give me a defense roll. Okay. Let's see if I can do a whole bunch of good stuff. Five. Yeah, that's going to hit. So, roll damage. You are lucky. Uh, they do two damage to you. I'm not rolling well. The other one is actually going to go after uh, you, Iris, because it saw what it saw you destroy its friend's head. No. Uh, and it rolled a seven. Give me a defense roll. So my defense is. Uh oh. It rolled a seven? Mm hmm. Okay, my defense is d6. You can explode it. So, no, I didn't though. <laughs> I rolled a four. I'm aware that I can do that. <laughs> and you take five damage. No! Yeah. My body! Okay. I need that for things. <laughs> I need it. It throws a pom pom at you, and it's like getting hit in the gut with a rock. Oh! Why does this always happen when I give people my flyers? <laughs> Oh, you love slash hate to see it. <laughs> All right, Dahlia, you're up next. Uh, great. I'd like to use my God's ability uh, and uh, talk to the plants that are now gracing the floor of the gym. Um, and I'd like to ask them to ensnare the Phantom Queen and the three ghosts so that they're unable to move with like roots and foliage. I love it. Okay, uh, spend the uh, AP, just one, okay. and give me a charisma defense roll. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I got a 14. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, so the plants, you don't need to verbalize anything. They know. And they obey. They wrap around the cheerleaders, making floral cocoons around them. However, at the moment one of them touches the Phantom Queen, it almost shrieks and withers. But the cheerleaders are fine, as the Phantom Queen seems to be fading away. <gasps> okay. All right, Lenny, you're up next. All right. Lenny, hit him uh, hard. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I guess I'll, I'll attack with my divinity and roll those, uh, which is into the range, which would be this one and this one. We'll see how well that does. Uh, six. Uh, that is just enough to meet their defense. I rolled a one on a d12. <laughs> that is amazing. Go ahead and roll me your damage. Damage, which is the intelligence. Actually, range, actually, hold on. Plus two. No, I actually, I didn't. I rolled a four then because I'm minus two for that. Oh, for that attack. So I definitely we, missed. But we have rerolls, right? Have That's re true. I'm gonna use that reroll. We have fun. Okay. Let's see how well that already much better. Yeah. Uh, so it's seven. Uh, so that'd be five. Still not enough. Yep. So. Lenny, you attempt to tap into your divinity and she laughs. She is having 
such a good time as your I arm... want it to be like like her attack is like a wave it's supposed to be like a wave of beer that pushes things away and does damage it's supposed to be uh instead it's a wave of beer coming out of your palm and it is splashing it's all, up, but it, it's all foam it's, it's just all foam. it's all foam. <laughs> it's all foam that thing uh, is tapped dude yeah someone's got to change that keg it's ipa <laughs> Mm-hmm. Ouch. <laughs> Manny. Uh, um, Manny, you're up next. I think that uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack with my uh, divinity. Um, yeah, give me just a second. For me, that is a strength and defense plus two. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um. Ooh, exploding. Oh, shit. 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. Okay, roll damage. No, that misses. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Tutorial level. <laughs> uh, that is going to be an 11 minus 2, which is 9 damage. Okay. Describe how you kill one of these cheerleaders. So uh, Ma'at kind of takes the scale in their feathered hand, lifts it, uh, uh, and with the other one, they scoop the cheerleader into the scale, which is huge. Uh, And the scales for a moment pause and then drop. And as the scale drops, the, the cheerleader disintegrates into ash. You hear Ma'at as she goes, I find ye guilty. (laughs) All right, yeah, you have killed one of these cheerleaders. The other one does not look very good. Uh, And that leads us back to Iris. Okay, so what remain are the other cheerleader and the scary queen lady. The phantom queen. Okay. I am going to try uh, and have my uh, divinity use her ability. And that is? Dawn of Time. She will create a microscopic solar system and then destroy it, which then leaves a tiny black hole in its wake. Um, I did kind of nerf it a little bit because I, I, should I include that? Uh, I added the the 25% chance of damage to allies. (laughs) Because I was like, it's because I was like, that just seems like such a big, you know, like that seems like kind of like a pretty OP thing to do that wouldn't damage people, you know? It is definitely OP. However, as we are taking notes from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, it's okay that it's a little OP. Okay. So then should I, should I, should I keep that caveat of the 25% chance of damage? Keep the caveat. I'll take care of it. Oh no. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. This is what's going to happen, y'all. (laughs) <laughs> no, we love we love fun of AOEs that potentially can hurt. Like that's that's half the fun. <laughs> okay, good. all right, y'all. Here we go. I'm gonna try for it. I'm gonna try for it. A bunch of weird teams that they gave flamethrowers to. There's gonna be some collateral damage. Yeah, there is. So, uh, in order to use my ability, I'm gonna have to use an AP. Yes. And then I have to uh, roll for accuracy. Correct. Yes, uh, this is technically an attack. So okay. it is intelligence plus range, as you are a magician. Okay, I rolled a 12 uh, on a d12. So then that means it explodes, right? Yes. So then an eight. So then, so by exploding, does it mean that I just add it to the yep. second one? So then 12 plus eight is 20. 20. Um, and then I have to add it to uh, my range which is also a D12, 10, 30, so, minus 30? two, 20. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I rolled okay. 28. You're going to hit. Mm, okay. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay, so then my damage is uh, the same, but plus two. So a two and a three. Wow, not great. Okay, so five. Uh, seven. All right. 
tell me how this goes down. Um, so Iris basically just says like, I trust you to make a correct decision. And then, um, <laughs> Kali like morphs out behind her and, um, I shall have fun with this <laughs> and hold like holds out a tendril. But if you're not looking at it, it's a hand and, um, it's the cup. It's the cup that was collecting the blood from the severed head. And like blooping out of the blood is like a little universe that's like wah, wah, wah. And then it like, like there's like a little pin of light and then it's like, and then it goes. And then she just like throws it at uh, the remaining cheerleader. You, you watch as Kali throws it and Iris, you realize that's your arm as well. You are making these motions. This is as part of you as you are of it. And you watch as you kill this thing. Oh. It goes away and we are out of combat. And scene. Good job, everyone. Nanako has fainted. She lies in <laughs> the bed <laughs> of- Nanako. She lies in the bed of flowers you created, Dahlia. And you see a trail of dead weeds leading down to the boiler room. Um, Manny runs over to uh, Nanako really fast and like is digging through like their little side satchel and they pull out a sports drink and they like <laughs> kind of pull Nanako into their lap. It's like, wake up. It's, it's okay. Wake up. I have electrolytes for you. Come I also have this form that I'm gonna need you to fill out. Shut up, Lenny. <laughs> And I kind of just tilt her head back ever so gently and just give her a little bit, a little bit of the sports drink. Come on, Nanako, you can do this. Come on. She wakes up. Oh, what happened? It doesn't really matter. Drink this. Get out of here. She takes the green Gatorade. I assume it's green. That's the best flavor. The, cu the, the cucumber lime that's one. That's a very, very strong statement. I'm pretty what? sure you meant the blue Quite one is blue. the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the frost kind? Yeah. Yeah, that one's good. Okay, okay. If we're doing the frost, then, you know, the white cherry one's the best, but. Oh, black cherry frost. Wow, interesting. What? Oh, all, of, all of these wrong opinions. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny I how you all didn't bullied. say orange. <laughs> no, the cucumber lime one is so good. That one is like un, like unsung hero. I'd rather lick concrete than eat anything cucumber. <laughs> no, let's pause the game for a few minutes and really get into this. <laughs> no, I'm trying to shoo Nanako off. <laughs> Does it appear that the door can be opened now that um, Nanako could leave? Yeah, she's able to get it open. Uh, the rain has lightened up a lot. Um, I'll email you those forms. And she is going to uh, run back to the dorm. Uh, while she does that, we have some toasts to address real quick. So get Ooh. your drinks ready, everyone. From Monstrosity Jones. Oh my God, that intro is so good. Let's go. Amen to that, Monstrosity Jones. Cheers. And I hope you enjoy being part of the occult club. Gritty. I'm not calling Orpheus ugly, but I ain't ever seen five pretty best friends. Oh. <laughs> That's mean, Gritty, but amen to that. One of and them's always got to be a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. We've had a bunny in every single season of New Pantheon, so why should we stop now? I like rabbits. Rabbit or habit. Now, finally, from Sojander, who, I, I'm sorry, every time I say your name, I sound a little more Swedish each time. Uh, another day of saving throw, another brilliant cast, an amazing show. Very happy to see Stephen Aki and Eric return and NP newcomers, Mickey and Kelly begin. <laughs> Mickey, Mika, what is wrong with me? Mickey. Amen to that. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, are you, not while are I'm you trying, trying to do a new Not Mickey? while I'm trying to yeah, drink. Is that, that's like, wow, please. Stephen, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you very much for your toast and your tips. You keep the lights on. So yes, uh, as Nanako takes her exit, uh, running back to her dorm, a little confused on what happened. Uh, 
you see the trail of death leading to the boiler room. Hmm. Well, I don't know if our job's finished just yet. I somehow get the feeling that you're probably right about that, but I feel like there was something I missed. I tried to do a thing and it didn't quite work. And now my brain's a little, feeling a little bit fuzzier than usual. Can I examine Manny's? Can I examine Manny's eye with a pen light? Sure. Uh, give me an intelligence roll. By the way, these flowers are really pretty, Dahlia. Thank you. That was all Persephone, though. I. I didn't really, I guess that was me. Hmm. Wow. 10. 10. All right. Um, Iris, this is not a concussion. You know exactly what this is. This is just a little bit, bit of shock. It happens like, you know, if someone leaves a dark room and goes into a bright, bright hallway when they weren't ready for it, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, nothing a little, uh, does Iris do supplements or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nothing a little ginger root won't solve. Okay. No. Okay. Do and I have that on me? I will say you do. Okay, I'm just going to slip Manny some. Is it like Manny's candy? no longer Is it like can it's candy, candy ginger? It's candy ginger. Yeah. And you know, You're for it. and you can actually dissolve that in hot water for a rather delightful tea. That's good to know. I have sports drinks if anybody wants one. How many do you have? I'm the manager for the entire pep squad. I keep the little mini bottles on me. Fair enough. Um, it's at this point, the four of you notice Orpheus isn't here. Uh-oh. Do you think that the Phantom Queen has Orpheus? Did probably... anyone see him go anywhere during the fight? Nah, but that head, I got headbutted by a cheerleader, so like I was a little dazed. Oh. Rub some dirt in it. You're fine. <laughs> cool, You're... Lenny. I can think of, of worse things to get headbutted by. Don't you get like... headbutted by big guys all the time? Yeah. Oh, so that was nothing. Or was no, it a strong it, cheerleader? Yeah, no. No, that, that shadow cheerleader was like real strong. Also, like any head injury is a dangerous one. That's, that's true. That, that's so very true. true. I've actually been meaning to talk to you. I think you should quit football, Lenny. Listen, I don't like playing it, but it's it's part of the plan. Why why don't you come join Pep Squad? No, that's not part of the plan. I so so we should go to the boiler room. Yeah, I, I saw something while I was trying to, to do the thing, and the boiler room was part of it. So yes, I think we should go there. All right. I'm going to close my eyes and leap in the words of Elphaba. I'm going to run off <laughs> through the field of flowers. <laughs> Dahlia is me, y'all. Like Dolly is actually me. Okay. I, Anyways, let's I, go. I relate too hard. Yeah. I relate to this too hard. I feel so this, seen. I don't like it. I am, I am living. This I'm plant. Living. This plant. Yeah. This plant theater child is me. All right. Let's yeah. go. Iris I just wasn't like even a syrup. theater child. I'm just feeling this. In my <laughs> Iris just like surreptitiously like wipes away a tear watching that happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so does Lenny. But like... defy gravity. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Dahlia, you're the first one to make it there. And the boiler room is old and rusted and it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a room you should be in. And it's not just because this, there's a do not enter sign. No, there is an energy in this place that just screams, get out. And further in the boiler room, you see Orpheus staring at a stain on the wall. It's white as bone and humanoid in shape. And he looks around at you and with big Ghibli tears in his eyes, 
Ghibli. With big Ghibli tears. I can't get in. Then to where, Orpheus? This is the boiler room. It's not just the boiler room. It's a shrine. <gasps> I'll say it. It's a great place to get uh, homework done. What What was the joke? Can you explain it? Huh? Why are you Ninkasa laughing? Ninkasa is howling. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that Lenny likes to engage in a lot of of suspicious activities when not on duty. I think he does it when he's on duty. I, I do not. Lenny, if I your dad about... finds out. Well, oh. he's not going to find out. How so do you there know? is something to find out. <gasps> no, there's nothing to find out. Lenny, you can tell us. The boiler room is a safe room. I it's think a shrine. It's, it's not. It's actually pretty dangerous. It is pretty dangerous, but no better time to share your secrets. Can I, uh, I can feel Persephone in my head, right? She's with you. Persephone, it's, it's feeling a little dank down here. Do you mind doing a little set deck and making it feel a little homey? I can try. Uh, spend a, spend an AP oh, and give me <laughs> a uh, range and charisma roll. Perfect, okay, cool. While Dolly is doing that, can I use my divinity's ability in order to like do a little bit of investigating? Uh, sure, if you would like to use that, um, go ahead and give me a range intelligence roll. I got a seven. Okay. While Manny is investigating, Dahlia, you feel Persephone exert her force through you, and the room is matching the rest of the gym. Flowers and grass, but there's like a wall between where your power can be and the stain on the wall. I'm so sorry, can you tell me what I'm rolling again? I missed that, I apologize. Uh, intelligence and range. <laughs> Amazing. And even though you've managed to make it a little less awful in here, Dahlia, it's still not pleasant with five. Uh, Manny, there was a door here once. It's gone now. Hmm. This isn't just a stain. There was a door here. And, and now it's gone. Orpheus wipes at his eyes, um, This is how I ran away from her, and I can't get back. Oh, is this what she was like saying about how uh, the keys were in her house, but like we can't go there? Mm hmm. We have to find a way in somehow. This was a shrine to her, I think. Who would, who would be? Praising the Phantom Queen. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, and how long has this shrine been in here? Because, like, I've been here uh, a few times and I don't recognize a shrine. How often, Lenny? How often are you here? You know, it's best not to get into that kind of stuff. Uh, I would like to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. Okay, what spend the AP. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spend an AP to, to invoke, invoke my. Actually, no. It's my right as an American. I don't have to spend anything. <laughs> All right. Don't worry, Orpheus. We'll figure out a way to get that back. His ears flop, and he's a very sad bunny. Hey, as the great Sean O'Casey says, all the world's a stage, and most of us are desperately under rehearsed. We're going to do better next time, I promise. Yeah. It's like my dad always says, stop crying. You look weak. S same idea. <laughs> I was not aware that crying was a weakness, Lenny. Oh, yeah. Uh, showing I emotion don't... is one of the greatest pleasures of life. It also shows 
everyone the truth of who you actually are. Yeah, which can be used against you. Lenny, you're not very uh, emotionally healthy, are you, buddy? No, not really. <laughs> eh, he's aware of it. We can work on that. So Lenny's just in his phantom phase, you know? Wearing a mask to the world. We'll take it off at one point. An act two. Well, he's a he's a, a cis white dude. I don't know what else we should expect from him. <laughs> ah, my dad expects a whole lot. <laughs> I Orpheus, what should we do? Orpheus steps towards the stain and he puts a paw up to it. And for just a brief second, all four of you see a door and it goes away just as fast. I, I don't know. I've never been without my powers and I've never been away from, well, where I'm from. I can't get home and I can't save anyone. And I already asked a lot of all of you by having you take my friends and you. I've, I've asked so much, but. Emancipation kind of uh, kneels down. Do you know what my name means? Uh, yeah. So I think you know I have a vested interest in making sure everybody gets to experience it. Thank you, Nanny. But I'm if not... you do feel... Go ahead, Iris. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I, I was just going to say, but if you do feel like you've asked too much of us, what a day! We are tired. We can just wrap it up and ooh, sleep on it. See, see, see what, ha you know, oh, we tried. So sad. You have to go home into the safety of our beds. And yeah, think about it this way. We're at a boarding school. The rest of us are separated from our homes and families too. We're just gonna take you for what you are and who you were meant to be. My name means with many elm trees. <laughs> so, okay. Thank that's, you. That That's nice, Lennox. That, that's very nice. Great contribution. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Well, she's gone now, and your friend's safe. We can call that a win, right? Yeah. I'm probably, like, I don't know if I'm, like, talking out of turn, but I feel like she's probably going to come back, because, like, you know, she's seen that we are capable of, like, you know, standing against her or whatever, and, like, we have a power that she, like, wants or whatever. Yeah, and we did kill her friends? Those were just crows. You don't need to worry about them. But they were our shadows. So was that a piece of ourselves? No. What is the self anyway? Huh. Yeah, I often wonder that. I think well, that at some at like uh, Manny has sort of lost interest and is now wandering. <laughs> what, like their their gaze has started to sort of meander around the rest of the <laughs> the boiler room. You see the work Dahlia and Persephone have done. It's very pretty. It is. I think they're starting to pick flowers and they're like kind of sticking them in there. So we never at any point described what any of our characters are. We did not, so <laughs> we what did are we now? So Manny is like kind of sticking them. They have like this short, very wavy hair and kind of like deep, deep, deep olive brown skin and hazel eyes. I, if, if people want to reference, like there's a very like North African vibe to like what they look like. Um, uh, and uh, it's a, uh, very very striking in appearance they're like a lanky five eight and like they're just sort of picking flowers and kind of sticking them in their hair and like anytime they see one that they think is particular pr particularly pretty they just kind of pick them up and like that and and at some point it starts to look like they're braiding a bracelet or something with them <laughs> they're just kind of sitting like cross-legged in the in the, in the flowers just sort of you know braiding a little flower bracelet Hey, Mika, what does Dahlia look like? Uh, Dahlia is very short, like four foot nine. She's never going to get any taller. Um, she has a That's short, relatable. <laughs> bob haircut. Um, it's super curly and unruly. 
and uh, she's just like a, she wears patterns that don't match and she tries to stand out all the time. And she's just very bubbly and charismatic. She's got like deep brown eyes, uh, pretty fair skin, like porcelain. I love it. And for our accidental duo, uh, what does Iris look like? Um, Iris is tall. Uh, she has big, scary eyes that are like really dark. And her hair is long and dark and messy all the time. Um, and she is um, pale, but like in, a, in a, a way that you're like, oh, you should have more sun. Way. No vitamin D. Right, right. Oh. Like we're worried about about you getting some some vitamins <laughs> in that way. Major deficiencies happening. Yeah. Yes. Sallow, sallow skin. Yeah. Sallow. That's a good word. And she has like, uh, like the, her eyes are really big, but she has like really dark uh, circles on her eyes. <laughs> and the other part of our the existential duo, Lenny. Uh, Lenny is uh, six feet tall, although he's probably going to get taller. Uh, he is uh, basic, very like very well defined muscle mass, very little fat on him, and he's like just you know perfectly quaff like the idea like high school quarterback kind of guy. Like everything's on purpose. Like his hair is the way it's supposed to be because it's all it's all on purpose. Broad shoulders, like everything that's like the way it's supposed to be. Very nice. All American boy. Very American. Good gap ad. Yep. Mm -hmm. I actually did a gap ad when I was, when I was 11. Just, just, <laughs> a walk, just a walking thirst trap. Yeah. <laughs> As Lenny and Iris uh, go into the idea of Jungian psychology and the idea of the self and the persona, um, Orpheus is going to go over to Dahlia and kind of Tug on a uh, mismatch tight leg. Um, I already asked a lot, but could I maybe stay in your room? I can't imagine Iris would uh, appreciate a roommate. Yeah, absolutely. I can see if Persephone will make you like a little bed of flowers because I know rabbits like to sleep in those sometimes. Oh, sorry. Wait, you told us nothing. Not a rabbit. rabbit. I'm so sorry. Um, I can it's give you fine. some pillows and a blanket. Uh, we can have a sleepover. I can show you Chicago on DVD. It's really good. People don't I, like it, but I like it. I remember when I inspired that one. <gasps> oh my gosh, you can tell me everything. Cool. You can help me go over lines for Oklahoma. Isn't that good? Oh, fun? you could do better than Oklahoma. Come on. Well, I didn't get to choose what the play of this uh, semester is. Mm, fair enough. I've Just saying, my better work was cabaret. Is. Oh my gosh, we're going to be best friends, you and I. <laughs> Maybe we don't find the door. Maybe you stay here forever. Please don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Please don't say that. That's horrifying to me, <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment. Okay. Um, with that, the four of you uh, are able to return to your dorm. Uh, uh, Manny, as they're walking, kind of sidles up next to Lenny and just sort of I want to slide the flower bracelet into his pocket without him noticing it. Give me a dex roll. Cool. I crit failed. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna re-roll. Oh, yep, we got him. Four. Okay, we were looking for a three. Four is perfectly fine. Uh, Lenny, you do not notice until you are back in your dorm room that you have a, uh, what is it, Manny? Um, I think that it's a, it's a couple of, of different things kind of woven together. Uh, I think they managed to find like an iris and a dahlia kind of growing. And then like, they, they like wove uh -huh. some, like some, some sticks and like some brown sticks and stuff into it as well. Like, you know, to make it look a little bit like thatching on a roof. And they were, they didn't really seem to have any idea of what to do for themselves in this scenario. Uh, so they kind of gave it a loose sort of weave so that it looks like it's very free flowing and stuff like that. But it's basically like, you know, a little, a little bracelet that kind of represents all four of them. That's cute. That's adorable. Lenny, what do you do when you find this? 
Uh, I imagine this is like later in his room. He's like, you know, uh, he's like taking off his jacket and he's like hanging it up where it's supposed to be. And then he feels the irregularity in it. And he pulls it out and he looks at it. And then um, it, there's like a long pause of him staring at it. And then he he walks over to his desk and opens a drawer and places it in. And then like, as you look in, you see the desk has a bunch of things like, you know, a, a stub from the play he saw. Like this is his desk <laughs> of things that he's not supposed to be Aww. like enjoy Aww. and he closes it. That's cute. <laughs> I love that. Layers. He has layers. He has layers. <laughs> layers. It's a little ogre. The following day, uh, pres- the school president, Le- Leila Saeed, uh, along with Jamal Allen, the school vice president, and Lennox, are joined by other members of the school of the absurdly powerful student council. Maxine Young, uh, Diva, JC, Reverse Aquamath, Risky Pixels, who is from Canada, uh, Lord Mm -hmm. Baltimore, Rookie, Jet Studio, you think, you're not sure which one's the nickname, but you know one of those is the nickname. And Arsena the Puppeteer, uh, all members of the student council are having a very, very, very long school assembly about what happened to the practice gym. And now no one's allowed near it right now. Absolutely no one. But there won't be any security around there. Uh, Orpheus, who has snuck into school in your book bag, Dahlia, pops his head out. Oh, we should totally use that as a hideout. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. We can decorate it. We can have like little rooms. You kind of already did. Yeah, but I mean like more. You can never have enough. We can have like different set pieces come on for our like moods, you know? Ooh, Ooh very aesthetic. I'm down. Oh my goodness. See, it's, it's a beautiful friendship already. We should tell the others. Oh, totally, totally. Uh, Iris. Yes. You are being tapped on the shoulder during this assembly. Oh, sorry, sorry. And it is Nanako. Oh, are, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I don't know what happened last night. I went there as a dare and that was stupid and I can't remember anything else, but uh, you have a, you're president of that school safety club, right? <gasps> will join yeah i really want to join okay like ah! <laughs> tears go flying out i can't believe that you want to join <gasps> okay 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 and then i'm like going through my uh book bag to try and like get all the necessary paperwork because there is start paperwork for the club and she has her pink gel pen at the ready oh can i actually request that you use um black or blue ink Oh, uh, yeah, I have a blue one. Thanks. So I'm going to hand her (laughs) the paperwork. Very nice. And Manny, as you let yourself daydream during this uh, assembly, Dahlia, you continue to make plans with Orpheus. Iris, you have a club member. (laughs) And Lenny, you've put on the best uh, strong man face you can as you are in front of the entire school during this assembly i i make a uh, i spend a lot of time go uh point of order uh they did not give up their time yet so it is not your turn to speak (laughs) out in the school quad someone playing hooky finds a key that they should not have and that is we are ending that is where we are oh ending my God. the first episode of New Pantheon Academia. Oh no. What a cliffhanger. My first nemesis. Sis, 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 sis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy being a part of North Point Academy, whichever club I assigned you to or dorm. Uh, 
My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22. That's S-T-E-V-E-N-J-P-O-P-E 22. And I just remembered I'm captioned. I didn't have to spell that. But, <laughs> you know, you fall into habits, you stick with them. Remember to check out Overarms, Overarms available by Rookie Jet Games. Thank you, Rookie Jet, for uh, popping in tonight. Uh, you can get this at Drive Through RPG. It is a wonderful read. Very thin, very to the point, very fun. Great pictures. And beautiful art. Yeah. Great pictures. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Mika, where can they find you? You can find me at RIP Mika on any social media. Um, RIP. stands for rest in peace, Mika, because I tend to die in every game I play. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I also have a weekly show on Wednesdays um, over at Strawberry 17 Plays Twitch channel. It's another RPG. Ooh, fun and run, run by new pantheon um alumni yes uh, abria run by Iyengar. Abria Iyengar. no way oh mm -hmm. i love that it's our homebrew world and she she is killing it she is incredible oh. she kills everything she does i'm in love with her we she is a queen and we have no choice your honor stand in line <laughs> we've I known stand her longer in line i stand uh, stand in line, in line. Yeah. <laughs> kelly where can they find you uh, you can find me on everything at Kelly Nuge. Um, I don't know if Caption will know it. K E L L Y N U G E E. Um, also, if you like uh, narrative horror, uh, I I do. Uh, oh, I wrote and um, produced and performed a podcast called Exile. Uh, it's wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, it's the genre that I love to write in, which is sad horror. So check it out. That is. Definitely something I'm going to be doing after this. Oh, thank you. Our incomparable Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I am Aki, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And if you want to know what else I am up to on the Twit, uh, um, on the Twitch places, uh, you can find my full streaming schedule over there on twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I. Uh, D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm up to a lot. I have lots of fun, cool stuff that's coming up soon that I am really excited to announce. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I'm in the things that you see me in regularly. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. And I'm so excited to be playing this game again with all of you. Very excited for this campaign. Uh, and Eric, the infamous, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me at mostly Eric at most places, including Twitter and Twitch.television, where I uh, do a bunch of streaming on the weekdays. Uh, and then Tuesdays, I'm on a show here called uh, Tales of Salt Bay. Uh, and this week starts, we're doing a three-part uh, campaign of Good Society, which is basically us playing out a Jane Austen novel. So that oh should God. be a very silly I fun time. I love that. I demand someone get slapped with a white glove. It will probably happen. I, I demand I, I demand a hand flex from someone. Oh, I, I love a, I love a, we can't touch, but I will, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the longing, oh, my word. Oh, the, the, the moment, the moment the we touch, of it all. I will oh, yeah. profess to you forever. Literally yeah. just like a graze of a, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is it. That's my, that's my genre, dude. Breaking, oh, breaking social distancing in a, in a Jane Austen film is a big deal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ugh, social distancing. I forgot that existed for two hours. <laughs> Me too. Yes. If you need to escape from pick your poison right now, check out Saving Throw Show's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash saving throw show, where you can find all of our shows, including Wild Cards, Pirates of Salt Bay, and all sorts of neat stuff, including the new Pantheon season one through three. And also tomorrow here on Saving Throw Show at eight o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time is our brand new show Dice Ex Machina, which Ooh. should be very fun. It's set in uh, it's set in the world. It's uh, Magic the Gathering meets D and D. It's run by uh, Riley, so it should be very very fun. Another another queen who whom we must stand. Okay, no choice. No choice. Go follow them on Twitter and stand. <laughs> Special thanks to Dom Zook for running for running everything behind the scenes. And thanks to Peter Gresser for our amazing theme song and Megan Caves Callerman, who you should go wish a happy birthday. It might be a little late, but go do it uh, for making our intro. And with that, until next time, bye. <laughs>